The relief efforts continue in areas of Connecticut after historic amounts of rain this past Sunday caused severe damage. Western Mass News reporter Reagan Stoddard spoke with some people who are doing what they can to help. Areas where 300 plus foot of road is gone, bridges that are gone, uh, the entire roadway, and to see you know people's lives change so much is you know it's tough to see. Towns in Connecticut like Southbury, Oxford, and Seymour were among the worst hit this past weekend with heavy rainfall causing landslides, flooding, and road collapses. Western Mass News spoke with Don Skacko, Vice President of Electric Field Operations for Connecticut Eversource, about the work he and his teams have been providing since Sunday afternoon. Our people went in there with, you know, special equipment, track vehicles, and, you know, just thought of the most ingenious ways to bring our power back to, um, to, to these people. He tells us they had thousands of customers out of power. It's kind of shocking, you know, seeing areas where all of our facilities, all of our poles and wires are, you know, just devastated, just completely washed away. Western Mass News also checked in with the Salvation Army and were directed to Major Gilbert Parkhurst with the Salvation Army, currently stationed in Connecticut. So we set up our emergency canteen truck at what's called the War Memorial in Danbury, and we assisted the emergency personnel and the families that were being evacuated to there. Parkhurst, his son, and other volunteers have handed out nearly 140 meals to displaced families. He tells us how grateful people were just to receive something as simple as chocolate milk. When um, folks lose a lot like that, um, people don't realize how much um, a smile could bring from giving them a chocolate milk or a strawberry milk and all. But it's more than just assisting with meals. And it also gives the opportunity for them to open up a little bit um, because they have so much stress inside. Um, not only do we give out the food and the drinks, but we also lend a listening ear. Parkhurst tells me that him and his team plan to be in Oxford, Connecticut next through the weekend to continue to help their support with the disaster relief. Reporting in studio, Reagan Stoddard, Western Mass News.